I can see your teeth through the monitor. Enjoy. Come on, baby. Give me the good shit. All right. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, hello. I find that when applied liberally, knife crime can be an interesting societal solution. For example, your boss is annoying you, you come up to him, you stop him in the fucking throat! And you know, problem solved. The only thing you gotta worry about it then is the police. You know, you go home, you find a bunch of policemen coming up to your house and they say, I'm afraid you murdered your boss. And then you grab your knife and you stop him in the fucking throat! And then, you know, you get more police after you and they have guns, but, um, and then you get shot. Um, and that's about it, really. That's just an introduction. There'll be more coming up soon, including where I wear my head on a hat. I once mistook the Sultan of Bhutan for a plush toy, you know, like a teddy bear, and hugged him. And um, then he tore off my genitals. There was one time I was in Burma. Um, we were going through the treacherous Lang Kwai Peninsula. It's a difficult place at the best of times, and this was certainly not the best of times. Anyway, um, I checked my Lee Enfield rifle. I only had three rounds left. Um, those tribal buggers, they're on all sides. They're very annoyed at us. We were there to map out port expeditions. And, um, and then I dropped some LSD, and I can't really what ha remember what happened after that. Damn these YouTube content restrictions. Um, I was going to ask if um, anyone could go down to the shop, buy two strawberry and cream chopper chops, and um, use them sexually. I don't care how. Just post it as a video response to this. But, um, YouTube. I doubt you'd be able to get very far, you know, it'd just be very, have to be very tame. But, you know, if you're interested, give it a go. You know. Well, um,. I remember reading a thing uh, a while ago in a magazine saying you should try to learn something new every day. I haven't learned anything today, but here's what I learned yesterday. Hot wax hurts. Here's what I learned the day before. I have weird fingers. And here's what I learned the day before. Shit, I've forgotten. This is definitely a slower pace than, more of my, than the other videos. You know, the other videos are very quick fire, so it ended up being something. Salmon attack! You get what I mean. But this one's a lot more slower, more laid back. Um, you see what I mean. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep going here. Hello, myself. Because my friends are in my heads. <laughs> Hello, I'm myself. My I'm beginning to talk you like myself. To myself. That, that must be a exist? double paradox because everyone's yeah. talking about crisps. <laughs> everyone's talking about crisps. <laughs> Um, just for, just for the record, I have no idea where that clip came from. Um, I don't remember anything about this. Let's keep going. I said, let's keep going. I said, let's keep going. I said, I said, let's keep... Well, it wasn't that fun, Goslings. Now for some more so-called fun. FUN! Anyway, I said I'd be wearing a head on my hat, and I am! <laughs> this one goes out to all to haters. Um, it's a hat, and it's a head. I think I might um, christen this guy. I got it. His name is King Billy! So, say hello to King Billy! Yes. Um, of course, the other thing, his name is Sir Nigel Twitterington Falk, but... Um, He's, he's obviously acting. Tea light candle. I think they're about two fifty a bag. Ow. <coughs> oh, wax tastes disgusting. Want nipple clamps now? Come to my house in Poland, where Nigerian men will not beat you up and steal your money. They will not. But remember that magic word, not. So come to my house. My house is in, uh, it is in uh, Um 
Actually, no, I'm now in a different place. I have now moved to Gdansk. So come to my house in Gdansk, I will give you the address if you so desire, and I will clamp these to your nipples. Okay, good. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Australia and we're going to see some stereotypes. Um, if you look on your left... Cobber, Bruce. Cobber, Bruce. Outback. Mad Max. Right, as you can see, this is the normal Australian stereotype. Typically wearing one of those hats that they all wear. And um, we'll typically only use the words crikey, um, dingo, uh, Bruce, um... Uh, there's, there's loads more. I couldn't t possibly tell you them all. Anyway, there's a very dangerous predator. And if you ever meet a rabid Australian coming at you, what you're to do is you're to immediately start quoting Nick Cave. Um, I'm not sure if Nick Cave has any quotes per se, but... Um Sorry, um... About the last video, I had a heart attack there. I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. Um, it wasn't a great heart attack. Heart attacks aren't nice. I have about two a day. I mean, I talked to my doctor. He said it was normal, but um, then again, I know for a fact that he's homosexual. So I'm not, I'm not trusting him. He might be trying to, you know, make me all afraid of dying, and then he's going to go, It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I know what they're up to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know what they're up to. Hey, you, have, you, have you ever watched, um, have you ever watched, uh, Apocalypse Now? It's a, it's a good film. Yeah, sure, you want to come over here, watch it? Yeah, sure. Just bring a gun, will you? No reason. No reason. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta see this. One second. Not sure if I can. Ah, no. <laughs> well, that was a relatively accurate um, dramatization of the past two weeks of my life. Um, but this is probably the worst video I've made so far. It's halting, it doesn't have any real humor in it, so... Sorry. Right. <laughs>